Shalom, and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints where we're speaking about the fall feast of the Lord. I do want to say this. These are the feast of the Lord, not necessarily uh, the feast of the Jewish people. These are the, the feast of Israel. We are the Israel of the Lord as well as Israel. We've been grafted in. We are one new man from the two. And uh, these feasts are an everlasting covenant to all generations. And these feasts come with a special blessing. So, uh, we are a week uh, before the Feast of Trumpets and people say, well, what do we do? This is a time where we're in the 40 day period of what they call Teshuvah. This is a time that, uh, that well, there's 40 days before Yom Kippur where we're in a time of return or a time of repentance. And uh, so when we start repentance, it says in uh, Joel chapter two, verse 15, Blow a trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, and proclaim a solemn assembly. Now, we've, we do this here at House of David. We follow that calendar, but many of you, uh, you're, you're, not, you're not here at House of David, so you say, okay, what is it that I do? You're a week out from the Feast of Trumpets. And uh, what I would do right now is I would ask the Lord, what is it that you would have me fast? You know, you may want to fast uh, coffee. You may want to fast, uh, you know, uh, sweets, whatever it is that, that, that you feel like the Lord is leading you to do, um, or a complete fast, a water fast, where you fast all foods, whatever it is. This isn't about legalism, but what the Lord is doing is, is that you're saying to the Lord, this is the week before the fall feast, and I want to make sure I'm prepared. I want to discipline my soul. That's what fasting does. It, it helps the soul. Psalms 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. So this is a time when if you do have a shofar, you want to blow a shofar in your house, gather your family, uh, gather your church. If you're, if you're watching, I'd gather the church and I would go ahead and, and call a sacred assembly and say, we're all going to fast something from now until that Feast of Trumpets. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply pray a prayer like, Lord, search me and know me, for I desire tr truth in my inward parts. Lord, shine your light that I might be able to advance in this season of the fall feast, that I might be awakened, atoned for, and abide with you. The key is abiding. You want to be able to abide in the presence of the Lord. And by the time we get done uh, with the Feast of Tabernacles, you want to be able to feel refreshed, full, safe, with direction and purpose. And all this is leading up to that. I'll see you tomorrow.